Hello YouTubes, welcome back to Tully's Marine Tales. I hope you are all doing well in this crazy COVID world that we are living through. Here in South Africa, things are starting to get quite bad. So I'm just hiding out in my flat doing a lot of data analysis, but I wanted to do this video to talk of happier times. For the last six months of 2019, I was working as a marine biologist in the Philippines and I had such a wonderful experience working there and I wanted to share that with you. However, this video took me so long to put together because I essentially had to work through six months worth of video footage and photos and try and put it together in some sort of coherent story. So that's what I've tried to do. I'm going to share my video footage with you. I'm going to narrate it as we go along so that I can share my story with you. I hope you enjoy the video. Please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. And without further ado, let's get into it. So I went to the Philippines to work as a scientist for an NGO called Coral Key Conservation. And this is an NGO that relies on international volunteers coming from all over the world to volunteer. They get trained in the survey methodology and they actually go out on surveys to help um, this NGO collect data. Now, this NGO is based in a really small rural fishing village called Napantau, which is in southern Leyte in the Philippines. And this is kind of what um, the streets look like around that area. As you can see, very rural, um, very green, actually really beautiful. And this was the house that we stayed in, and it was literally a stone's throw from the ocean, which was right in front of the house, which was just the most idyllic location you could possibly imagine. And right in front of the house in this ocean was actually a small marine protected area, a long-standing um, fish sanctuary. So there's no fishing allowed in this area just in front of the house. So there is like a beautiful thriving community of corals and fish. So it was like such a great place to do a ton of diving and snorkeling while I was there. This is what the house looked like on the inside. Um, it was very rustic, very rural, um, but it didn't matter because you had such a great view. So you can see it's very ocean themed where we would eat, um, the science room where we would do our work. We also had a lot of um, animals come to visit us because we were basically out in the sticks. We had bats, we had toads in our outdoor shower. We had, okay, well, these I mean, are not wild animals, but we had two beautiful dogs um, that was part of our family. So it was really great just living there um, and living in this wonderful place. So the first thing I'm going to talk about really is the diving work that I did there. Um, and what I loved about this job was that the science was very applied. So you would go out, do a dive, survey the coral reef, collect the data, and that data would directly feed into recommendations for marine protected areas. So the science you did had a very direct you know impact on conservation in the region and because we had such a great coral reef on our doorstep diving was super easy um, all of the equipment was there we just needed to grab the equipment put it on do a quick buddy check and hop in the water and whether it was raining we dived if it was sunny we dived we dived from the boat we dived from the shore we just dived no matter what um, which was great i think i tripled my dive log while i was there which was awesome and the reefs of the Philippines are just beautiful because they are part of the um, coral triangle. So they have some of the most diverse coral reefs in the world and it was just absolutely beautiful. But just a quick note about our survey methodology. So we would dive down, we put a buoy which would mark the start of our survey transect. We'd go out and we'd lay the survey line and then we'd swim along the survey line counting all of the fish, invertebrates and corals that we saw. And this would be the data that we would use to um, recommend which were the best areas for marine protected areas. And while I was diving there, we saw some of the coolest marine life, like tons of clownfish and anemone fish, um, just these huge, you know, swathes of coral um, that were just, you know, underneath you as you were swimming along. Nudibranchs, which are like underwater slugs, but so much cooler than land slugs because they are just so beautiful and so colorful, really fun to try and spot. Oh, these were baby batfish. They were super cool. They literally looked like Darth Vader ships underwater. Lots of these cool sponges that the fish would swim around in, lots of butterfly fish, lots of coral fish. 
Oh, so many turtles. Oh my goodness. I love turtles. I never thought I'd get tired of seeing them, but you basically saw a turtle almost every single time you went diving or snorkeling. And some of them were super chilled, like this one. We got right up close to it. It was munching on some coral and we could just watch it doing its thing. Another super cool sighting was this octopus. We came across it while we were diving and it was in its den dreaming. So it was just changing its colors from red to white. And oh, it was probably one of my favorite sightings while I was there. These crazy looking fish are called frogfish. Yes, they are fish. Um, they are very difficult to spot because they're so well camouflaged. But we had a guy come from Barbados who was like the frogfish finder. So um, he spotted a couple of these cool looking fish for us. Okay, so now um, we're shifting track a little bit. I'm going to talk a bit about the community work that I did there because while I was there, it was not only a lot of fun diving, but we did a lot of work with the local Filipinos. Um, we did a lot of work with the children. We gave them presentations about what corals were, why they were important, what they looked like. We did practical things with them. We went um, on beach cleans with them to pick up plastic and then we would use that plastic to make eco bricks with the kids which was always a fun activity for them. Oh, we did a huge World Oceans Day event where we had over 200 children which was so much fun. I sang baby shark with them. Went a little bit crazy but <laughs> had a lot of fun. Um, and not only that, we met with local government officials to, you know, once we had our report about which were the best areas for marine protected areas, we would share that with them. And Filipinos are great because they are super interested in conservation. So they really want to conserve their reefs and they want to put in marine protected areas. So I met a lot of great people doing that and I really enjoyed that part of the job too. So while I was there, not only was it work, we managed to fit in a lot of fun stuff too. And I did two exceptional hikes while I was there. The first one was through this beautiful gorge where we had to scramble up waterfalls, jump down waterfalls. Oh, it was so much fun and just so, so beautiful. I also did another hike um, where we essentially hiked through what looked like dinosaur jungle to get to the top of a volcano that had been filled in by a lake. Um, and we swam in this lake at the top of the volcano, which was also just super beautiful. Oh, we also did night dives. And for me, this was my first time night diving. I am terrified of the dark, not afraid to admit it. So I'd never done night diving before. But because I was so used to diving this house reef, um, I kind of felt comfortable doing it and man, I'm glad I did because diving at night is just this crazy experience where everything around you is super dark and super black and you just have these beams of torchlight, you know, highlighting oh, all these crazy critters that come out at night because on a reef, all different types of animals come out at night. So um, we saw this really cute bobtail squid the one time. Oh my gosh, it was just beautiful. Um, so that was the night diving. As I said, I also did a ton of snorkeling or free diving or whatever you want to call it while I was there, um, just because we had this amazing house reef. So every minute I got um, to spare, I would I would go for a snorkel or a free dive. Um, and my breath holding skills got pretty good, actually. Okay, now to one of the most magical experiences, whale sharks. So this was literally the last weekend before I left. Um, it was just starting to come into whale shark season. So we figured it would be a good opportunity to try and see them. So one of our local boat captains, he took us on his boat um, and we went looking for whale sharks. And boy, oh boy, did we find them. Um, three or four whale sharks at one time. And they were just so chilled, you know, there were only a few of us in the water and we weren't harassing them, but they were so relaxed with us. They swam, you know, right next to us within meters of us and they just kept swimming around and around. Okay, this video, we had been swimming with these whale sharks for like over half an hour already. So my foot was cramping. So you can see me here in the top right corner holding my fin because I couldn't swim because of my foot cramp. But this whale shark literally came within like two to three meters of me and I was like I can't move don't bump into me but he swam right past me and there was another whale shark in the background that I didn't even know about um it was just such a crazy experience and these these animals they are actually sharks um they're the biggest fish in the ocean and they are just so majestic and so incredible to see underwater and I just I feel so incredibly lucky that I got to have that experience um with these beautiful animals in the water we also did a lot of activities at night. We did a couple of beach bonfires. We played pool at the local um, village bar. We played basketball with the locals because even though this is like the shortest nation, um, they love basketball. And I just met the most incredible people while I was there. Filipinos are so friendly and so welcoming. 
And even though I'll probably never see them again, I kind of feel like I made a little bit of a family while I was there. And I really, really enjoyed my experience. I had to end off with a little bit of sunset porn because um, we could also watch the sunset from the house and that's one of my favorite things to do. So I'd always sit at the end of the day and watch the sunset. There were some beauties. So yeah, that was my experience while I was there. Um, if you are looking to do something fun and interesting on your next holiday, whenever we're allowed to travel again, look up Coral Key Conservation. You can go be a volunteer for them, learn how to do a bit of scientific diving um, and just have one of the most magical experiences of your life because I definitely had one of the most magical experiences while I was there. So I hope you enjoyed this video. As I said, I just really wanted to share this experience that I had with you because I had just a wonderful six months while I was there. Um, and yeah, until next time, I hope you all stay safe, stay healthy and have a happy day.